to be talking about bullying part two. <laughs> Number two is... Welcome back to lifeinrelationship.com. My name is Perth. My name is Holly. And this is Teen and Tween Talk or Tween and Teen Relationship Skills. And today and today we are going to be talking about bullying part two. If you haven't seen our last video, it's going to be in the iCard right there or there. So um click the link to watch our other video if you want. So um today we're going to be covering the topics that we didn't cover in the last video. We also talked about how you can go to lifeinglesschip.com to go and check out um our ca uh, the counsellor that um helped that um helps us and helps everyone else to fix their problems with like mental health with like um um depression um stuff like that and many other things so today we are going to be um moving and um, talking about other things we didn't talk about in our last video so point number one is any support. so if you have if someone's there to ignore, I mean, so no, no. If someone's there and is like your best friend or something, and is there to like help you, and you're being bullied, but like the the person is there to help you, you know, find help to get people to talk to you, so that you won't be like alone. You won't feel like you're the only one going through bullying or mental health or whatever your issue is then you should listen to that person because that person is always is only trying to help you through what you're going through so and um, also if like you're at home and you're also getting like bullied in school or somewhere then you can then you can also like talk to antonio joseph and um just support around you like in your family that support so don't ignore them don't like, don't like tell them what um, is going on and they can help you. Point number two is have a role model. Have a role model. What what even is a role model? A role model is someone that you, look, you can look up to and like you can get inspiration and you can aspire to be them. Yeah. yeah, so you have to aspire, like a role model is someone who you look up to, who you'd want to aspire to be. For example, you play basketball and your favourite basketball player is someone and that person, you look up to that person and you aspire to be as great as them. So basically have role models who are all, so you can always, you know, have that person to be, one day I want to be this person, one day I want to be as famous as this person. So have like a role model to, you know, to work towards being that type of person or achieving your goal. Um, Back to what I was saying, role models. Um, so you can like, let's say that your role model isn't someone who's big and famous. Let's say your role model was your mum, or let's say your role model was like someone that's close to you. For example, my role model is Antonia Joseph. Um, you can go check her her website. Link in description. But um, um, yeah. Um, I aspire to be someone like her to be able to help people. And to be able to like spread um joy and happiness through the camera and through other people who are watching this, so that's my good that's my role model, and you should have a role model too, so that um for example, Antonia Joseph, she's always there to help you if you feel like um I don't know you've got something going on at home that you want to talk to someone about, but don't have someone to talk to, then you can talk to her or you could comment it down in the comment section below anyway moving on to point number do you have anything to say um yes yeah, so I always have a good role model and um for example my role model is also Antonia Joseph and um she's really good at it and you should actually check her out like check her um check <laughs> moving on so point what point are we on no I need to be saying more thing take part of it so my role, my role model is Antonia Joseph, um, obviously link in the description. And um, one day to I, her website, to see her website. One day I will aspire, I aspire to be someone like her to change people's lives and to change like how people see yourself. And um, if you're struggling with anything, go talk to her because she's really good at it, and she may she might even be your role model. So even though um. 
even though you don't have anyone to talk to like for example a best friend or a parent or i don't know someone if you don't have someone to talk to you always have antonia joseph here she's always here to um, help you and support you in anything that you're doing and she's always there to like uplift you if you feel down she's always there to lift you up so um yeah you should go and see antonia joseph and yeah so um point number is have something that you enjoy to do because if you don't have anything that you enjoy doing then like there's no there's like there's nothing fun in your life there's nothing that takes away all the bad feeling of bullying and like heavy weight like for example let's say you have a heavy weight on you you don't like being bullied blah blah blah, blah. every time time you go to school you're getting bullied so um you, you can have something like to you have something to like take your time like take your mind away from that and like for example people like football so that when they go when so for example if they're being bullied and they feel sad they can go out and play football and then that may make them more happier so always have a side um a side like hobby like to do. a hab like a hobby or um an activity that you love to do um you it could be an uh, it can be an after school club or it could just be a club or it could be like i don't know sports dance music anything it could be anything that you love to do and if you don't have a hobby then you should go and find one because if you find something you really like to do you should keep doing it because it makes you happy right so at least there'll be something that you like and enjoy doing it'll take you away from all the stuff that's happening for, um, in school or whatever point number four don't retaliate Paul, what does it mean by retaliate? What does it retaliate mean? Like, don't, for example, if you're being bullied, obviously, mm -hmm. um, don't retaliate to tell anyone, like, tell them. Like, don't be scared. So, like... No, no, it means... So, basically, what I mean, what she's trying to say is basically, um, don't, like, retaliating is basically acting back to what someone says. Let's say someone, I was to, like, go punch you, then she punched me back, that's retaliating. So if someone wants to like punch you or something, don't retaliate, don't get angry or whatever, don't swear, don't, I don't know, don't do anything against the, against them after they do it to you because that could land you in trouble as well. If they were to verbally say something to you, however, for example, for example, I call you ugly, then she um, calls me ugly back. Like, um, you shouldn't really do that, but... Therefore, it's not as bad as me punching her and then her punching me back. So if she was to say something back to me, if someone was to go and tell the teacher or to tell like an adult or to tell someone someone that they trust, trying to get the other person into trouble, she can always be able to be to defend herself because she did the right thing. She didn't um, retaliate. Yeah, she didn't retaliate basically. So yeah. And point number five: keep record of what is going on. So, for example, if you're being cyberbullied, you can keep record of what they've said to you. For example, take screenshots of what they've said to so have proof to like show someone. If you don't mean. Yeah. For example, uh, let's use the um, example of Snapchat. If you text someone, unless you, unless you save it, if unless you save like save the chat that they've sent to you, you won't be able to go back to see it because it will just delete. That's what Snapchat's like. So. Screen, you can even screenshot it. Like I know if you screenshot it on Snapchat, like they can see that you screenshot it because it screenshotted it because it says it. So there's like a trick to do it. Go like there's a trick to do it. Basically, you can find the trick, but um, I don't need to explain that. Basically, make sure you copied it down, screenshotted it. Make sure you got proof of um what they've been doing to you, so that you can use it to back yourself up if anything happens in the future. Now, point number seven. I mean, seven, sorry, I did one. Surround yourself with people that make you feel good. Yeah, because if you don't have people who make you feel good, like friends, family, then you'll just always be sad. Because you'll be like, around negativity. Yeah, you'll be surrounded by negativity, and that will soon make you feel unwanted. It could make you feel hurt. It could make you feel like secluded. No, no. Is it secluded? Yeah. Ex yeah excluded yeah it'll make you feel excluded from everyone else and it'll just further your dark thoughts more so surround people surround yourself with people who make you feel so good that's and make all we have for today 
we hope to see you next time on lifeinrelationship.com this is um this is tween and teen talk or teen and teen relationship, relationship skills. skills and, and if you go through any of these like always remember to contact Antonia Joseph and she can help you with any of your problems and I guess we'll see you next time don't forget to like and, and subscribe and, and turn, turn on the post notifications, notifications on to get notified every time you upload a video which is every Sunday bye Thank you.